as we head out to the Caribbean. We're in November. We shouldn't be talking about this, uh, but we are as we have showers and thunderstorms with what is now designated as potential tropical cyclone 18 more than likely right here will become Raphael as early as today. Next update now is 9 a.m. So it's because of the time change. Uh, usually as 4 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m., 10 p.m. But because of the time change now, it's now 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. Uh, those times that they update and then that would be 3 p.m., 9 p.m. Right now, it's not technically a storm just yet, but it's on the verge of becoming there. And you can see the National Hurricane Center forecast cone has this becoming a category one by Wednesday going over western Cuba and then eventually in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, Again, if we go by August or September, we would be overly concerned with this type of forecast path going into the heart of the Gulf of Mexico. But this is November. There's going to be a tremendous amount of wind shear here across the northern Gulf Coast. A lot of cooler waters out there as well. Northern Gulf Coast, uh, Gulf of Mexico and a lot of dry air. So as the system starts to approach the U.S. Gulf Coast, a lot of models have it significantly weakening, which it should. Other models now have it going over towards Mexico there. Again, although we are included in this forecast cone, I want you to breathe a little bit easier here just based on what we're seeing at the moment. You can see the wide array of paths that there could be a lot of the models more easterly than anything else. And again, no matter which path it takes, there's going to be a lot of wind shear here. So that's going to really significantly weaken the system before landfall, even if it makes landfall. I think there's a higher chance that it dissipates before making landfall uh, as opposed to saying having some sort of a strong tropical system making landfall sometime over the weekend into next week.